In this video, I will explain how to create a Canoe configuration. Uh, for this, you need a DVC and Canoe software installed in your PC. Software can be anything, it can be a demo or licensed version. Uh, for this uh, demo, I am using a, a demo Canoe software. So, to create a canoe configuration um, from the scratch uh, the basic input you need is a can dbc so that we can utilize the messages mentioned inside the da database for uh, transmitting it cyclically okay and the first step you need to do is to create a new config and uh, you can select one of the template available here since I know it is a CAN um, database, I'm I am trying to create a CAN channel. Just select it, and it will ask you to enter the configuration name. You can name it the way you want. Uh, for demo purpose, I will name it a config can can I configuration as demo. Okay, now. I don't want to create a new directory. I will store that uh, newly created configuration here in this NIU demo folder. Okay, and once it is created, it looks like this demo.cfc in this demo path. Okay, click OK. And uh, once it is available, then you will see something like this okay this is a basic uh, uh, canoe configuration uh, where we didn't add any uh, database for now and the first step uh, to do is to add a database uh, to the specific can channel in our case i am adding to uh, database to can1 and select the can database i am using the database uh, provided by vector canoe in demo configurations open it okay once it is open then you will find something like this here under databases okay whatever database you added will be displayed under your can channel under can channel database category okay once the database is available to transmit that uh, messages from uh, whatever is available inside the database we can create a network node okay click on insert network node and go to the configuration you will have options like net uh, options to select the network node so inside the database any number of nodes can be available okay so in this can uh, comfort database these are the nodes available gateway door ri door le dashboard and console uh, okay and for our demo purpose i will just use console ecu uh, as a network node and what it means is like uh, whatever message is mentioned inside this uh, node will be transmitted to see what all messages it can transmit based on the messages defined in database okay after selecting this node as network node as console you just go to this and then click on node panel to see what all messages it will try to transmit okay here you can see console 1 console 2 and nm console so out of these three messages whatever is marked as cyclic they will be sent uh, cyclically okay and if there is a message which is event based let's say only when there is a value update then only this message will be transmitted okay and now let's try running this configuration okay now the configuration is started like you can see it here now go to the trace window now you should see whatever messages are marked as cyclic should be transmitted here okay so here you can see these three messages are sent okay let me stop and start again to see what is happening here you can see it here the messages are transmitted 
okay and I will stop now again save the configuration this is how you can create a configuration from database and you don't have to code uh, write some capital script to actually send this uh, messages okay so vector uh, can I you can uh, will have this feature where it can send the cyclic messages automatically okay all you have to do is create a new configuration under the decide channel go to database and add your database then insert your network node go to the node configuration and select the node which you wanted to simulate okay once the node is selected click ok okay one more thing so how this message are transmitted so once you select the network node you will have something like a components here this components will be automatically added based on the database okay whatever is mentioned in database will be loaded here so here in this case to transmit the messages automatically this DLLs are used okay so using this DLLs the messages will be automatically transmitted even you can uh, control the signal values uh, from the COM port uh, only if the messages are transmitted via IL layer okay when I say IL layer it is mentioned here so if the messages are transmitted via IL layer then you can use some uh, external programming language like Python VB script or some other languages to control or to change value or to read value okay so it is possible only if you are doing it via uh, network node okay so if you are transmitting it via message via IG block and if you wanted to uh, control the signal value from external programs then it is uh, uh, not possible okay thank you I will come up with another video